The cylinder form is another one of the basics and it's one that's going to carry many things that you're going to want to draw. Um, so of course you have to be able to do a basic cylinder and play around with this and see what you can do with just the basic cylinder. You can draw many, many, many objects like this um, and with this simple form. And if you want to get very accurate with it, you can use the sort of wireframe method, and there are other videos on the channel about that. Um, you're going to want to change the proportions of the basic, you know, do something that looks normal, that looks like a disc that's really skinny, really long, and then you're going to want to vary it and do a bunch of different things with it. And um, I like to play around with it just sort of abstractly at first, and then look for some objects where this sort of thing might apply. Um, I find that that's more fun. You know, it can be fun drawing objects and, and everything, but it's kind of good to just experience what you can come up with in your head as well. And anytime you turn the cylinder on its side, it feels totally different. It's really, I mean, drawing is really the same, but it's a it's a mental exercise that, that helps you change the way you look at and use forms. And the, this is basically an exercise in using rectangles. The essential thing of, of doing any kind of form is to realize what shape it is first and then convert it into a form. So if you're having trouble with these, remember that it's just a rectangle and at the top and the bottom of the rectangle, on one side you're putting an ellipse and on the bottom you're putting a matching arc or a part of that ellipse. The wireframe method is basically just drawing two ellipses and connecting verticals um, between them. So one of the things that you've probably already done if you've tried out all the art, all the um, plane exercises is the arced plane and that's what we're doing here. And it's essentially just a part of a cylinder with um, sort of the inside hollowed out. And if you can do cylinder forms, you can definitely do those arc planes and vice versa. They're both fairly simple to do. Again, you know, you want to use line weight to vary this all, and you want to practice as many different variations of these cylindrical forms as you can. Sometimes when you do a cylinder, it helps to have a soft bit of a turning edge and use a little bit of a tone, but it's not necessary. Um, but you also do want to bump up some line weight just so you can emphasize a little bit of the curvature. The other thing too is you can start to think of the relationship between the cylinder and the cone, right? Essentially what I've done here is taken a, a cone and cut it off and made it look like you're looking at a cylinder going back in perspective. And that's where things get really interesting when the forms start to bleed across each other. Essentially this is an ellipse with a triangle and you're cutting off that triangle. So if you want to think about it in terms of shape, that's another way to do it. Um, the best thing I think is just to keep it very simple, whatever is going to work for you in your head. Um, another important variation is just a thin cylinder, one that's really skinny, really tall. And, you know, after this, the trick is to do um, applications of this, of this sort of cylinder. The weird thing about cylinders is that if they're long and they go all the way across the page, you kind of need some reminders of the fact that this thing is a cylinder. So sometimes you have to wrap lines around the middle or through the form and even in arbitrary places to remind you. This one's an important little exercise. Things can remain cylindrical, but their contours don't necessarily have to parallel each other. They don't have to be mechanical, perfect rectangular cylinders to, to maintain their cylindrical form. So you can do things like bend the sides in, push the sides out, and they'll still remain, they'll still remain cylindrical 
and remind you of that form. And that's kind of what you want to be thinking of. But that doesn't mean that you can't change the relationship of bottom and top and side to side. You can make, you can design them based on S curves, anything that you want. The other thing to do is to take the sort of arc plane exercise and turn that into a solid by connecting the sides. And this one's going to be useful for a lot of mechanical structures and stuff like that. So the other, the other thing that's fun about the cylinder is that it's going to be applicable to everything from pipes and tubes to cars, vehicles, but also to trees, the human figure. It's going to be a form that you're going to use for basically everything. And that's why I think you should spend a lot of time practicing this. Um, and if you want to get really fancy, you can do things like this exercise, which is, you know, the tube that goes away from you and then down. It's not one that creates a ton of, of depth because it's sort of facing you and you're not seeing as many sides as you normally would. But I think it's one that's important to practice because it helps you keep the cylinder in mind even as it goes back behind and goes down in space. Um, if you're having trouble with this, you can, of course, draw through the form very lightly and then emphasize it later. And then you can take that idea and just turn it to the side and use basically two paralleling uh, curved lines. And then the, the trick to this is to give yourself a couple of reminders. What I like to, to do, especially when I'm drawing trees and things like that, is when the cylinder changes directions, um, just before it changes directions, I'll put a little um, reminder of which way the cylinder is going. That way it helps the eye understand what's happening as it turns and goes in different directions and wraps around um, in different ways. So that's something that you want to keep in mind when you attempt to draw human figures and, and animal figures and trees. Um, so come up with more variations and have fun doing this exercise.